Six months ago, I showed you this beautiful chair in an unrestored condition. And time got the better of me and I wanted to have it restored. And here it is. It's now beautiful. It was beautiful anyway, but now you can you see the real colours. I was explaining to you that it's an apple green and this apple green is normally done by a leading cabinet maker by the name of Inter Mayhew because when Chippendale used green it was much much darker but now seeing this with the old surface taken off and finding the original surface underneath you can see how pale this green is. The gilding is 90% is original and it's just the whole thing just sings now and it's so rewarding that when you know when you're buying something with your heart and you're going with your gut feeling saying I know this is a good thing and then having it restored properly and professionally then seeing it develop into a, a beautiful piece it really uh, makes me feel quite quite good so going back to the pieces itself um, you've got this lovely escutcheon shaped back and um, very much in the French taste but this is an English piece of furniture. You have these um, lovely shaped arms with little elbow pads and again now look at this lovely colour, look at this lovely green, all this is all original. We found um, this colour as say we did a little sample and we could see it sitting underneath there. So all the gilding inside the, uh, the larches here, all original. We've got the original gilding on the top of the legs here and in the, in the fluting. The whole thing is just lovely. And it's so rewarding, as I say, to find something when you say what's been done to it. And you say it's been reupholstered. And um, hopefully this, uh, the, the way we've had it upholstered, it doesn't offend, it actually enhances the piece as a whole. So beyond all reasonable doubt, this 18th century chair is made by Inter Mayhew in around 1780.